الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبین محمد وعلیٰ و صحبہ وسلم ام بحبت اللہ دا کوشچن واز آسٹ سو وین اے بگنر اسٹڈنگ فک شو دے اسٹارٹ ود مد ہیو آلسو ڈز ون ہیو ٹو اسٹڈی اصول الفق اینڈ قواعد الفق بفور اسٹڈنگ ایکچوئل فک ڈو یو نو اف اینی اسکالرز ہیو گان ان ٹو ڈیٹیل اباؤٹ دیز ایشوز مینی آف دا اسکالرز ہیو بین آسٹ دس کوشچن کاؤنٹ لیس ٹائمس اینڈ آئی بلیو ان دا لاسٹ a uh, few questions that were posed and answered here were a translation of, translation from Imam Al-Fuzan Hafidhullah Ta'ala in which he said that la bas or in fact if I rec- I, I don't want to to distort his quotation because I don't have it in front of me but basically he said to follow uh, a madhab not saying it's wajib But definitely, there's no problem with following a madhab, and many of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah <coughs> uh, concur with this uh, this view. And the reason being is that when you start studying fiqh, <coughs> and that in order to have dubbed, uh, dubbed or to have precision in learning a madhab in learning a madhab or learning uh, the masaya just learning the masaya uh, by studying one madhab obviously is easier than studying two or three or four meaning studying fiqh al-muqarrana comparative fiqh if you study if you begin your studies in fiqh by studying all the aqwal or the four aqwal Or, or the four madhahib, because within the madhahib, of course, there's aqwal. There's different views within the madhahib, with each indi- individual madhahib. And from the imams of fiqh, maybe they had two, uh, uh, one view, and then later they had another view. <clears throat> and so, uh, in order to not become confused, then it is best to study one For example, if, if you want to say one madhab or in order to get uh, introduced to the Messiah. And then as you advance in that madhab, meaning not, not that you're blind following and not that you're making ta'asib, no, but it gives you something to begin with. If you start with nothing, you have no usul. I hope, I hope that's, that's clear. Um, so... Does one have to study usul of fiqh and qa'id fiqiyah before studying actual fiqh? As far as I am aware, I don't know of anyone, I have heard of people saying this, but I don't know of any ulama or anyone who advise studying usul of fiqh and qa'id fiqiyah before studying fiqh. Nor do I know of any programs, whether that be in Islamic universities or whether that be in... Uh, you know, uh, maracas or institutes or a mahad that uh, studies a program such as that, meaning to give precedence to quiet fiqiyya and usul of fiqh over fiqh. No, because the fiqh is what you need to know. The usul of fiqh and the quiet fiqiyya is needed, but those are more subsidiar- subsidiary issues like And they um, are general principles that really <clears throat> are more important for the students of knowledge and the ulama. Not saying that the general Muslims don't need those, but the, the ones who are really going to be operating with Qawaid uh, Faqih and Usul al are the scholars in making fatwa and looking at Masail in general trends, uh, you know, in general... Uh, usul with with regards to fiqh principles on how to make tatbiq, how to make implementation of the principles of fiqh and, 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 and looking at the masala and the mufasid and things like this so those issues really come later after studying uh, fiqh, so I don't know of anyone, I have heard something similar to this mentioned before but I don't know any scholars nor do I know of any madhabs nor do I know of any books to refer you to or any ulama that say that. I don't, I, I don't know of any, and nor do I know of any universities that do that. Instead, usually they 
uh, introduce usul fiqh and qawaid fiqh and things like this, these sciences later in the studies. So, for example, if you're in Jama Islamiyah, I would imagine, and, and your specialty is, is fiqh or sharia, then you will probably study usul fiqh courses maybe your second year in the university, perhaps, perhaps in the first year, but it's not going to be in the first co- in the first term or what have you, but it might be in the second year or the third year in your studies. It's usually not something that's introduced because also the usul of fiqh, it requires an- 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 fiqh, uh, strength in the Arabic language and uh, and then you're looking at those fiqh masail, you know, the the dalil, the dalail, and you're learning how to uh, some of the general principles uh, pertinent to those uh, those masail fiqiyah. So I hope that's uh, that's clear and answering your question. Bi idnillah ta'ala, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala Muhammad.